Good morning. As you can see, I'm still in this oasis. Um, it's a beautiful albergue and I definitely have to say it will be in my favorite albergues that I probably will share one day as well. Like all the albergues that I would recommend to you should try because they're so amazing. This one is definitely one of them. I really also like that all the food that we got obviously probably because we were just such a small group um we could just take as much as we wanted and this was the first time i didn't feel like i got way too much food um yeah i really like that and i like that the guys for example could eat a little bit more and yeah i think that was um that was really great and uh, yeah i'm the last one to leave i slept until seven because i think i will only walk like 15 kilometers a day I will try to go to Castelljeret and then we'll see if I want to continue or not. But that means I was the last one. I had to lock the door, <laughs> close all the windows and everything. And now it's time to say goodbye to this oasis. Mm, that's really sad. Did you hear the church somewhere? <sighs> Let's go. Sometimes love is a river of strong Moving like a wave through a rocky river bed Sometimes love is a dancer in the dark This is not very gay but also a restaurant and I just looked at the menu and they have so much stuff like they have so many different juices even like watermelon juice and pineapple juice um, they have vegan food they have um, burgers they have healthy food they have literally everything here so um, would recommend to go there unfortunately I just ate breakfast so I'm not interested but <laughs> Um, if you are between Sanabal and Fontanas, like these two girls are coming here now, um, they just need water. So I guess they will just fill up here and yeah. I think they even have like a little pool things. This blue thing, I don't know what that is, but yeah. Recommend to stop by here if you're hungry or just need something, a freshen up. Swimming pool here, but it looks like they're repairing it. Oh, hopefully, I'm not getting wet. Um, but yeah, if you get to Hontanas and it's open, walk through the whole pueblo, the whole village, and get here and then jump into that pool because, and I mean. The people yesterday who all walked to Hontanas and walked over 32 kilometers, they must have hated themselves when they walked by here and see that they could have a swimming pool, but the swimming pool is not open. It, it at least looks like that, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know, but um, it looks really nice. Uh, my shin hurts a bit. I know that happens when I walk too fast, which yesterday I walked quite fast, so I think that's the reason. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit in the right leg. It's nothing I worry about, but um, I will take a bit slower today. And well, I have 5.4 kilometers done, and I think I have like eight kilometers left, so. Yeah, should be fine. My hair, my hair is so, yeah. who cares? <laughs> then uh, I'm wondering if we have to go up there. Hmm, it'll be fun. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a blackbird up there and it makes very strange noises.
this is a new trail they have built before you always had to walk here on the side um, on the road and I think that's just fantastic because it's so much more it's so much safer to walk this way here and you still get quite a lot of shape shape <laughs> you still get a lot of shade from the trees here and now we're getting to the convent here and they also have a bar so <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that because I need something to drink I need to use the bathroom and I need a break oh, cool. We'll be doing fine Just losing track of time Just losing track of time They used to have this bar here And as you can see it's completely closed <sighs> That is a bit sad because here in the convent they have a few uh, cookies and coffee but it's just not enough um, after walking for five kilometers you definitely would like to have a more they have one, there was a vending machine but it didn't really work so i didn't get anything there yeah that's kind of a bummer but the funny thing as you saw the woman on the bike that was Anne's from the Netherlands that I met in Burgos and she started today and I saw her on the trail right before the convent and <sighs> that made me just so happy to see her again and this is the magic of the Camino you think you have lost people you will never see them again and then suddenly they appear on the side of the street I also walked uh, with Isabel from Italy for like probably an hour or so she walks way too fast for me so at one point we said you keep going, I will slow down. Um, I also have still a bit of pain in my shin and it got worse while we were walking really fast. So yeah, let me see, does the trail continue here? Yeah, he's going over. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that as well. Oh yeah, you might not be doing it because of the shade. Yeah, I don't care, it's only three kilometers to Castellerif and you can already see it. So I will walk in the sun. I'm totally fine with that. Um, I haven't decided where I'm gonna stay today. I tried to look it up but the internet was pretty bad here so I couldn't read anything um, kind of like recommendations or anything. <sighs> yeah we'll see but um, there you see Castellere already very close. But yeah it was really nice talking to the Italian girl. She um had studied economics and worked for seven years and felt like this is just not my life this is not what i want to do for the rest of my life i'm done so she quit her job she sold her stuff and um stopped her lease on her flat and now she's walking the camino and after that she and her boyfriend will go on a a road trip through Europe and that is just amazing to meet people like that I mean there's so many people out there who do not like their jobs who would like to do something completely else like she will actually become a social worker now instead and has already started studying an online bachelor and I mean we see these people who just say okay I'm done with that I will find something else and you see people who stay and might get more depressed and unhappy in, in the thing they do and where they maybe feel they have to keep going because of certain reasons and um, I mean you have to be brave there's like if you feel like a lot of if you have a high need for security quitting a job and not knowing where you're gonna sleep next day um yeah huge respect for people like that but i mean i quit my job without having anything else and it was the best thing i could do 
and that was actually the Camino that helped me on that. I knew that I didn't want to continue my job on my second Camino and had planned to say, okay, I will stay for another six months trying to save as much money as possible and then I quit because I was too tired to write applications while doing while at work. That was the problem. I knew that I first had to quit and then focusing on writing applications. But in the end, it worked out really well. Um, I came back from the Camino and I think I quit within two weeks or something like that. Yeah, because I was so done and I felt so exhausted right after I came back and yeah, that was a really good decision in my life.